Amen. Said your name, Elder. Okay. Guys, the usual uh, Sunday embargo, so at 10.30, Saturday evening embargo, please. Um, if I could ask for a show of hands for the mics, and if you could give your name and organisation for your question, please. Good afternoon, Pep. Ben from Sky. Um, Pep, we didn't know this when we spoke to you after the game, but it's since emerged that one of the travelling Manchester City fans was seriously hurt after the game in Germany. He's in a critical condition in hospital. I know the club are helping to support the family, but I just wondered if you might want to offer some well wishes yourself as the manager. Yeah, we knew it after the, after the of course, the terrible news. The family, father, mother, sister and her brother going there. Unfortunately, it happened. Uh, our thoughts, of course, and our best wishes for all, all of us, for them. And it's a, you know, it's a tough news, really tough news. So football always is a, you know, and a game, a spectacular to everybody enjoy it. And still right now, this kind of thing happened, unfortunately. Hopefully the police in Germany can solve that problem. It's the most important thing. The guys can recover and, you know, get well as soon as possible. Thank you. Um, the League Cup this year offers you the first chance to get a trophy in the cabinet. Did winning it last season have any impact in the success you went on to achieve that year? Uh, we will not be our one, we'll be the second one. Uh, we won the Community Shield, it's in the first season, yeah. The, what was the question? <laughs> the League Cup will be the second trophy in the cabinet, yeah. I think I was quite clear on that. <laughs> um, but. How much of an impact did it have last year when you won at Wembley for what you went on to achieve a record yeah, it was important. season? Yeah, it was really important, yeah, of course. So in the Premier League, we were flying in that period and it was days before we went out from the Cup in Wigan. And of course, it was, uh, of course, not the most important title of the season, but of course, once we are here, and one place in the mythical stadium, nice stadium in the top uh, side against top side Chelsea. And okay, we're going to prepare tomorrow the game to you know to, to win the final. It's important, of course. Once we're in final, it's try to enjoy it and, and compete well, improve. How you can you have to play this kind of game and try to win. The big news story today, of course, is that Chelsea have been hit by this transfer ban by FIFA for the next two windows. As one of your traditional challengers for the big titles, how does that impact them as a challenger moving forward? Does it weaken them? I, in the future, I don't know. So because I'm not Chelsea in the statement, I cannot see anything in terms of the game. Not any impact for the players. We will be focused, and the managers will be focused to win the game against us. Pet Mandy from Premier League TV. City have, have never retained a trophy. How important is it that this club starts doing that if you're to be considered one of the the big elite clubs in Europe? Well, retain the title for itself uh, would be important, but it's important because you win the title again. Uh, most importantly, of course, win the title, definitely, but importantly as well is, is being there. You know, after winning last season, being there again, that is uh, the most important thing. And in terms of the, the game on Sunday, it's 12 days since, since you had that huge win over Chelsea. This is a different game, but how good is it for the players to be able to have that victory in their minds, at the back of their minds? In that moment, I was so happy to beat them 6-0. In that moment today, I would have preferred not to win 6-0 against Chelsea. Perhaps Simon Stone, BBC. In terms of the issue with Chelsea and the, the younger players, obviously the recruitment of all clubs has changed a lot since you were a player. Are there, there are issues there? Do you think there are problems because players move around at a very young age all over? I'm not concerned about the reason why they are banned. So I know something for the academy, but I don't know really. So I cannot speak about that, talk about that, because I'm not the right guy or right person to talk about that. So, so I don't know. I know we change a lot from since my period when I was a football player, but of course the society is not the same years ago like now. So really, I don't know. But there's a lot of competition for 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 the best young players for all the top clubs in Europe. Yeah, many players, all the players by the players and a lot of players by our players, young players. So everybody do the same, but I don't know exactly what happened in Chelsea right now. So I cannot give an opinion because I don't know. 
Hi, Pep. I'm Jamie Jacks from The Guardian. You said the other day um, that Bernardo Silva... I'm over here. Oh, sorry. That's uh, okay. Um, that Bernardo Silva can play three or four positions. Where do you most like to see him play and where do you see his future in, in your team? Is it more central midfield? Uh, it's a typical number 10, I think so, you know, behind the striker. But in Monaco playing the, in the winger, being make a movement more inside. Here, when we play the winger, stay more wider. Uh, but he can play, I think, in the all positions in the middle, attacking positions in the middle, in the wingers. And Leroy Sani had a really big impact um, the other night. He plays wide at the moment. Can he sort of play centrally? Could he learn from someone like Bernardo, who, you know, is playing wide, he's playing centrally? Literally? Yeah, Leroy Sani. Still, he's not ready. But maybe in the future, can you see that? Maybe. He's not ready to play in the middle right now. To play in the middle, you have to be, be so good in the control do the spaces. Your spaces, what happens around you, and still is not ready. Maybe in the future, hopefully we can help him. Pep, Tom, Talk Sport. Um, you mentioned Sane, well, that position, but in, in terms of who is available, for, can we just clear up injuries? Uh, there's been doubts with Stones, uh, obviously Mendy, <laughs> Jesus. Today was off, we didn't train him. Tomorrow we'll see, but the, the info that had the doctors getting better, all of them, but right now I cannot tell you if they will be able to next Sunday. You mentioned that before, the 6-0 just 12 days ago, that you were very happy then. Now you're not happy. What do you mean by that? You feel that Chelsea would have learned a lot from that game? or What are your thoughts? I don't like to play in a short period of time with one team when you beat him before. I don't like too much. Uh, in part for us, in part for the opponent. So they are incredible professional players. They are proud, on pride, and then they will do an extra. So when we lost 2 0 in the Stamford Bridge, we cannot accept that defeat again here at home. So, but it's what it is. So we're going to face mentally as well as possible, play the final, improve what I said before, which kind of type of games you have to play when you play in finals and, and do a good game and try to win the title. And just finally, th there is a game obviously before your game, Manchester United and Liverpool. Uh, are you going to try and shield your players from watching that, hearing about that? What are you going to do about that game? I think in that game we were in the stadium preparing, changing socks, pants, t-shirt, warm up. So, underwear. So, we'll be ready to, you know, to play the game. We'll have time to, to look at that game. Hi, Pep. Paul Hurst from The Times. You've played Aro Muric in every round so far. Will he start in goal on Sunday? We will see. I have to think about it. And how impressive have you been with him? Because he obviously went out on loan. He wouldn't have been expecting to play for you this season. What's he been like but this season? I think it was important play to be where we are. So, Leicester game, he was the important player in the penalty. Uh, in the penalty, so it was incredible. When he played, he played really good. That's why we trust him. That is right now for the situation from Claudio, is the second keeper from Man City. So we, we didn't trust him in him. You know, in, in transfer window or winter, you know, in transfer window, winter time, we should have the surge to look for another player. So we trust him. That's why that's why he's the second keeper from for us this season. Um, hi, Pep and Rigel, Catalonia Radio. Uh, last year in the Carabao Cup final, there were plenty of yellow ribbons. A year uh, later, you are back at Wembley. This happens at the same time that uh, Catalan political prisoners are in court in Madrid. Uh, what do you think about that situation? Well, when I was one year ago, what happened? I could not think one year later still. They are there in prevention jail and they are... Okay, the trial is going on. I listened a little bit the last days, all the the chants and our our politicians and uh, and other guys uh, and women uh, make their statements about about uh, they could explain what really happened. So they show just that they are accused of something they didn't commit. So and hopefully, hopefully the the judge can you know can show you know really what what happened and can release as soon as possible and come back with their families and their own lives because uh, what happened the last day they show us what they are 
they are already accused they didn't commit it. So, and hopefully for everybody, not just from Catalonia, from Spain, to a better society for everybody, he can, you know, he can go out and and come back for the normal life like never before. Uh, uh, you never before could uh, could happen. Pep, you're talking about the defeat at Stamford Bridge um, and how that kind of maybe drove you on for the game the other week. Is that the sort of thing that you mentioned in the dressing room before beforehand to remember that defeat and does that drive your players no, on? No, no, I didn't remember that. So it was a long time ago, but I think when that happened, you don't want to lose to chance for the same opponent, but we didn't speak about that. We focused in that game especially. Chelsea demanding demanding you a lot, a lot of things in terms of... Uh, of, uh, is is the team maybe one of the best in Europe so when you have to to be more consistent defensively? They are able to to take your ball during 30 seconds or 45 seconds. Normally it doesn't happen. And they are able to do that so they are more consistent defensively. And the spaces to attack is, is minor, especially for the movement for Jorginho that help a lot to make the transition the forward, backwards really, really well, and of course the quality of the players they have, especially Hazard, uh, William, or Pedro, uh, Iguain, or the other one. So, uh, we, we were focused on that, and tomorrow will be the same, focus on what you have to do to win the game in tactical approach. It's a final, I think the players, they know exactly what does it mean to play a final. I just ask, if Muric wasn't to play on, if he, if he didn't pick him on Sunday, would you sit him down and ex explain the reasons for that? No, he didn't take the decision. No, if 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 he didn't play though, if you chose not to pick him, would you explain? Well, well I don't know. So normally I don't give them many reasons why they play or they don't play the players. So they know there are many reasons. Sometimes it's tactics, sometimes it's locker room, sometimes it's because it's lack of confidence or they are not in top what I believe or I think they could be. So I don't know. I didn't think about it. Hi Pep, Sam Lee from Goal. Can I just ask about Fabian Delph's situation? He hasn't featured too much, pretty much since the red card at Leicester. Is, is, has that been a factor in him not being in squads or is it fitness or something He was else? injured many times in that period. Not the big problems, but one day he was he thought to play was the day after was problem in the ankle. And the last days uh, it could be they were sick and the recovery was not good and and that was the reason why, and the other issues is because I trust with, in that case, Alex on the other one in that position. But in the last period, he was not able too many days to train. And just going back to Jamie's question about Sane and you speaking about him not being able to play in the middle, do you mean as a number eight or do you mean playing on the right-hand side and, and coming in like Bernardo does? You said he he's can not play ready. in the middle, they can strike to make runs and runs in behind. Mm. But playing in the middle, he can do it. Yeah, came inside, but... Uh, but I think it's it's better player being wider, and and of course can do it. I'm not saying I'm not saying he cannot do it. But these kind of moments, we have better players to do that job. That is what I'm talking about. So the people come inside, like for example David or Bernardo, or even Riyad or even Phil, for example, like is incredible player in small spaces close to the the back four for the open. They are better players than Dalleroy. Valeroy, I think, is the best player in the world. Why the making movement runs in behind and 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 these kind of actions, and that's why I we prefer to use him in where his strength and the strength I believe is to be wider, one against one when the people have ball, make a movement to the goal. That thing that is incredible player. Hi, Pep, James Robson, Standard. Um, Rich Sarri is obviously under a lot a lot of pressure, which wasn't helped by the six nil against you. Uh, I wonder if there are similarities with your first season because he's very uh, certain he's, he's not going to change his ways and you were exactly the same. Um, will the success that you've gone on to have, could that perhaps help him maybe make Chelsea's owners be a bit more patient with him than they have been with just about every other manager? Well, the situation I think is a little bit different in the terms of my first years, never the club doubt of me. I was never in the releasing the media that the people is going to sack me if I lose this game and the other game never happened. So always I was surprised when Conte won the title, and they lose one or two games in the beginning of the season. The people start to say they are going to be sacked. I said, wow, but they won three months, two months ago the Premier League. So the situation is completely different. So 
then the situation uh, I said after the, the when when we lose there and after when we won here. So my opinion about Sarri with their teams is always high high standards. So I reviewed the game against us. Maybe the people don't believe me. They did they did an incredible things. So what they did, they did it incredible. But the first goal, they were a mistake, like they were not attention. The second one, Barkley make a mistake. And when that's happened, the second goal is from at home. Sergio scored and scored an incredible goal there. So when that's happened, it's tough for the managers or for the teams, you know, again, again, to involve. But they did many, many, many good things. That is my feeling. We spoke with my staff, with Mika, with Rodo, and they had the same opinion. So the pressure they had was quite well. And, and, and and they they play good, but we were so clinical in that game. In the four or five times we arrived, we scored three, four goals, and sometimes, no, sometimes no, always helps a lot. These kind of things. Of course, Chelsea were a team who, for a long time, you were seen as a potential manager of them. Given the way that you know, you say when you came here, it was the club were totally behind you the whole time. Does that sort of is that sort of thing you looked at when you were picking your next club? No, I Chelsea never. obviously have that record of hiring and firing. No, I never was a potential option to be manager from Chelsea. So I think I was in Barcelona to win Bayern, come here. And I they liked a, you. Sorry? They liked you. You may not oh, like thank them, you. But they liked you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. No, not for that reason. Uh, I decided to go to Munich after Barcelona and after I came here, especially because Chiki was here, Farhan was here. And I knew that uh, when we're talking about about what we want to build or what we try to want to do, um, I trust them and they trust me. So that's why in the first season when maybe the people expect after six games we have to be champion of the Premier League. So in the situation sometimes it's difficult and it's time. I said many times in my first season, I think Mauricio is the same. So you need time. So the people support me here. The club support me. That's why the players know who's the manager and who will be the manager and everybody's in the, in the right Situation after that, you can win and you can lose, but it's a stable. That is the best way, I think, to to build something for a you know for a long time, not just for one short period. Okay, guys, embargo, please for ten thirty on Saturday.